Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo, and welcome back to the Robot Arena 2 Starcore AI Tournament. Uh, we finally got through the lightweight, um, not preliminaries, but qualifiers, to actually find out who would be representing each team. Uh, so now we just have the lightweights that are being represented by each team. And the first match is the um, first team, number one team, Spin Doctors, Tempest Fugit, or Fugit, Fugit, versus... The number two teams, Alien Invasions, Drone. What a nightmare. Oh. May the strongest bot win. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. How fast do I have to do the... Oh, God. Okay. Well, we'll just... I got an idea. We'll control the cam camera manually. <laughs> It looks like uh, Tempest Fugit is doing very well. The drone's still holding his own. The drone's got Tempest Fugit flipped over now, but he's taking a lot of damage. The drone's lost a wheel now. He's in trouble. He can't just simply leave Tempest Fugit alone, though, because Tempest Fugit has still more scored points. And it looks like with his weapons flailing him around, he won't get counted out. So Drone definitely still needs to score a few good hits. <laughs> drone can't seem to make it to Tempest because he's only able to go in the one direction because he's only got one wheel. But if he's lucky, it looks like Tempest Fugit may get counted out. Uh, but he just, he just moved just enough to undo that count out. Tempest Fugit at just over 2,000 points. Drone at 1,449. Okay, there we go. Okay, Tempest Fugit is stuck now. Nope, nope. He's unstuck. This, this match is brutal. It's like... Oh, man. It, it's such a... It, it's almost like a bloodbath, you know? Because everybody's, like, just destroyed. Drone is uh, definitely having some serious trouble with the one wheel. It saves weight uh, to have one wheel. It saves on weight, but there's definitely a big drawback to it, as you can now see. Because with four wheels, it's tougher to make a lightweight, because, I mean, you're adding the additional weight of the additional two wheels, but with only two wheels, you lose one. That's all of your drive. Just gone. Just like that. This match is done. Okay. Believe it or not, Tempest Fugit was actually counted out, so he did go immobile after all. Drone takes it away in that round with 2,273 points. So I guess um, I'll put a mark by his name and we'll get to the next round. So Drone got that one. Uh, da, 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 alien Invasions Drone. Again. Oh. There we go, now I got the action cam. Yeah, again, this is supposed to be like a weekly series, and it's been a friggin' month. So now I'm trying to get back into the swing of things, so you'll have to forgive me. Looks like uh, Drone's taking some heavy damage already, pretty early on. Again, both bots moving into the center of the arena underneath the bridge. Drone having lost that other tire. So now all of his drive is gone, it looks like he's caught in between Tempest Fugit's weapons. Looks like it's only going to take one or two more good hits. And Tempest Fugit will take this away. He's currently controlling Drone, pushing him around, and now uh, Drone's been knocked out. So the second round goes to Tempest Fugit in a landslide victory. So that's actually really interesting. So we're getting to see some good back and forth here. I like that. Good back and forth is always recommended. Again. The final match, F4F4, action cam. Let's see what happens. We've got both bots sizing up and some glitchy crap like I've rarely seen. <laughs> I usually say some crap like I've never seen, but I've seen it happen before. Both bots, uh, having shot up towards the ceiling, have now recovered and have resumed actually fighting each other instead of the physics of the game. Uh, drone has lost. Again, same tire. Uh, part of his weapon has now come off. <clears throat> He's taken a hit to the battery. And another. Uh, or the CPU, uh, rather. 
Looks like his weapon is almost gone. Tempest Fugit is definitely... Uh oh, it's over. It's over. There's no way. You can't recover from that. Uh, Tempest Fugit takes it home with all three rounds. I'll get that written down and we'll be right back for the next match. Or at least I'll set up the bots uh, and I'll see you. Alright everybody, we're back and this time we've got Team The Pits, BW Bird of Prey versus Team Secom Security Services Sentinel Observer. So, let's get on with the uh, match and see what it has to offer us. Let's begin! I had no volume there for a second. Well, Volume's back. Okay. BW Bird of Prey. Uh, he's having some trouble controlling his bot. Looks like he... It looks like both bots are um, locked up right now. But it looks like... Uh, Sentinel Observer has got a slight advantage based on the type of his weapons. He's about oh man, it's it's over, it's over. I thought he was gonna knock Bird of Prey off into the into the corner there, but it uh, worked out for him pretty well. Okay, so that's one for Sentinel Observer. F4 and round two start. Here we go. Okay, both bots moving around now, and a heavy hit in the center of the arena. But it looks like uh, Bird of Prey took the brunt of it. He's almost through. Oh, he was almost through Sentinel Observer's weapons. Sentinel Observer takes that 2-0. So I'll get that written down and we'll be right back. All right, folks, we're back. And this time in this round, we've got a round number three's uh, three Billy Goat Scruff, Billy Goat Gruff versus Team Orbital Launch Team's BW Stratosphere. So... Let's see what these bots can do. F4, F4. Okay. To kick this match into gear. Looks like we've got Billy Goat Scruff with the uh, more serious looking weapon. Uh, let's see. Stratosphere is taking some heavy damage to the chassis. And he's out. That's round one going to Billy Goat Gruff. Beginning in round two. I'll write down Billy Goat Gruff. He's got one point so far. He's dealing a, he's dealing a lot of damage to the underside of uh, BW Stratosphere, I believe. Oh, good God, it's over already. Wow. Billy Goat Gruff takes it. Okay. Well, that was good. Okay. Maybe I can get all ten matches after all. If this keeps up. Uh, let's see. I'll be right back with the next round. All right, folks, we're back with the next round. I think this is match number one, two, three, four, uh, four. So round number four. Um, we've got Team Jabberwocky's Slithery Toe versus the Sheep Squad Battering Lamb. F4, F4. And let's see what these bots can do. If I had to give it to anybody, I think I might choose... Battering Lamb. He's just got so many spikes. Battering Lamb's got Slithery Tobe in the corner now. Slithery, uh, Slithery Tobe's worked his way out of it, but into a arena hazard. The flamethrower got him there a little bit. Ooh. Battering Lamb got him with the spikes. Too much damage on the younger side. Uh, let's see. That's one for Battering Lamb. Okay, so one here, and let's go again. Round two. Round May two. The strongest bot win. Okay. Definitely looks like Slithery Toad's having some serious driving issues. He wound up upside down again. He's not. Oh, there's a good hit. There's a good hit. Slithery Toad needs to get to the side of Battering Lamb if he can, but it looks like he's lost a lot of his drive ability. Okay, he's down underneath the arena now. Battering Lamb's coming around to the side. They're gonna meet in the middle. Ooh! <laughs> just the um, just the two of them meeting in the middle. They were both going so fast that uh, Battering Lamb uh, dealt enough damage in that one charge attack. I don't think he even used his weapon. Battering Lamb takes it with 1,645 points. I'll get that written down, and we'll be right back. All right, folks, we're back, and with the final round, uh, round five. Uh, that's ten teams. 
uh, Sky Team Skynet's Ariel HK versus Team Borg Collective's Eagle Borg Scout. Uh, let's see what these bots can do. My apologies for all of the different little human errors and mistakes I've made, but um, it, I, I guess I need to do these videos more often. I, it takes a lot to get used to. Ooh! These are some heavy hits right here. Okay, Aerial HK seems to have the disadvantage. Um, Eagle Borg Scout, I believe, is the one with the uh, heavy hammers. He's dealing a huge amount of damage. The hammers are actually so heavy that they're just taking Aerial HK's weapons right off, and they're, they're already gone. All of them are gone. Uh, but he needs to be careful. If he falls over, he could wind up upside down. And it doesn't look like uh, his weapons would allow him to drive after he was knocked upside down. Um, Eagle Borg Scout has been destroyed. Oh, it was Aero HK with the hammers. My bad. Mm. So the first round goes to Skynet's Aero HK. Skynet Aero HK 1. And now time for round 2. So many rounds. So much to remember. Okay, Aerial HK with the heavy hammers, Eagle Borg Scout with the spikes. Okay, good hit from Aerial HK, or uh, from e uh, Eagle Borg Scout, my bad. Looks like it sent um, Aerial HK, uh, he lost some stability there. Both bots sort of caught in the corner now, both weapons stuck on each other. But it looks like um, Eagle Borg Scout only has one more spike left and he needs to back up from the wall so that his weapon can get spinning again. Ooh, he's in trouble. He's only got one spike left. He's definitely lost a lot of um, stability there. Aerial HK is dealing huge amounts of damage. And it looks like he's going to get just a little bit closer and probably get those last hits. He's going to tear him completely apart, every piece. Oh god, I keep getting them mixed up. Those two, I don't know why. Skynet's Aerial HK takes it both rounds with 3,728 points. Sorry, that was my printer. The Aerial HK's Eagle, or uh, Aerial HK, Skynet's Aerial HK. Man, whoo! Okay. Man, well, I'll see how long this video was. Um, rounds 10 through 20. Uh, I can probably do today, I don't know. Uh, that actually wasn't very uh, hard to do, uh, those matches pretty much go really fast. I just wish I could, you know, stop messing up names and such. But um, those were actually some good rounds. I hope you all enjoyed watching the video, I certainly enjoyed making it. Uh, leave any helpful comments you might have in the comment section below. And until next time, take it easy my friends.